Huh? Oh, I'm just letting it do its buffering. I'll do the recording for this part now. While I'm, while I'm here. Just at the beginning. There's no change. <laughs> I can put that in the video. <laughs> oh, shoot. Are you recording? Yeah. Nice. Alright. <laughs> 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 uh, uh huh. Huh? Whatever. With your nice shorts. I know. Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> and I'll have that part forever. I could put that in every video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I um I did a pre-recording yesterday just at the item shop. I purchased everything and initial reaction, but I I had to go out for Canada Day and do some stuff. I've been super busy. Um so I'm just going to do the rest of the video now and post it. The skin will be in the shop for another day anyways, so if you want a second opinion, uh you can check this video out. There are uh, shortcuts down below in the description to jump to whatever you want to see if it's the skin, the ADS test, the pickaxe, the glider. Um you can just see what you want to see, back bling, showcase, all that stuff will be hot link below. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play the pre-recording I did yesterday of the shop and then we're going to get into the gameplay and the ADS test. So happy Canada Day. Today is July 1st, Canada's birthday in a sense. And we got a lot of new stuff today. A lot of new stuff. Expensive day. Uh, three new epic items and then a, a new emote. Let's take a look here at Starfish. Very interesting look. She's got like pink scales on her, purple scales. The back one. She's part of the fish food set, which is kind of interesting. So she's part of the uh, fish stick set. Uh, her back one's kind of cool with the little fishes in it. Coral reef. Her eyes are really neat. I like that. Nice green, green blue eyes. All right. It's pretty interesting skin. Uh, it might be a little tricky to match back blings with though because of the uh, the purple and the pink in the outfit she's got a lot going on but oh what's the back bling called anemone anemone and starfish you are mine now all right glider looks like it said anemone an enemy an enemy is that what it was an enemy a-n-e-m-o-n-e and then it's A N E M O N E. Anemone. Anemone? And then. Anemone. Anemone? Yeah. I'll okay. And then. <laughs> I'm just going to call it. It's an enemy. <laughs> it is an enemy. An enemy of the fish. <laughs> My uh, pronunciation uh, corrected here by a bystander. <laughs> Uh, we have the Man of War Glider. That looks really cool. Uh, oh, that's very cool. Oh, I can kind of hear it there. Let's see. It's pretty cool. I feel there's going to be pretty distracting, though. We'll get to see it in-game, but I feel like it might be a little distracting. But Man of War, you are mine now. Alright. We got a... Conch Cleaver. It's an easy one to pronounce. <laughs> uh, an epic, eh? Huh. Oh. That sounds really cool. You swing it. Impact. Sounds like glass almost. Alright, well. I feel like this might be a little overpriced. I hope it looks got some cool effects in game, but uh, we'll find out. Conch Cleaver. You are mine now. Alright. And the Krabby Emote. <laughs> okay. The, the music's pretty lit for this, actually. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> the headset. I like that. Alright, Krabby, you are mine now. I kind of like that music. It's got a nice upbeat to it. Let's take 
a one day late look at the items from yesterday. Uh, I do apologize. Um, I was just super busy yesterday, had things to do. Um, didn't feel great today, so I slept a lot today. But uh, yeah, I'm here to give you my opinion in a second. If you're still, you know, humming and hawing on the set, or you just want to see another opinion, or you just want to watch the video, let's start it here. Let's look at the glider. I haven't looked at any of this stuff in game yet, so this will be. First impressions for me too in game here. All right. Wow. Okay, yeah, that is pretty big. I think yesterday I said that I was expecting some uh, vision loss, and there's definitely vision loss. Even trying to like glide over this, the things block it. But it looks really cool. The effects are really kind of neat. The boy. Alright, forwards, backwards, left, right. Okay, it kind of goes faster forwards than it does backwards. Okay, so if I was going down the Little Mexico to land on the gun on the Blue House. Oh, yeah. Jeez, yeah, that blocks quite a bit of vision there. Pickaxe Tess, swinging. Ooh. It sounds pretty cool swinging it. Harvesting. You can hear it through that. All right, you can hear it through that. All right, no shield. Hmm. Nothing really crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I like the swing sound. The swing sound sounds cool. Like, hmm. I mean, it sounds good, but it's pretty underwhelming, especially for an epic. I was hoping for a little bit more. She can see approximately 13 of the blue squares clearly. I think she loses about three because of the back bling. Um, and then the rest come, the other uh, four would be lost just because of her skin itself. So 13 for the crouching with a back bling. Aiming down sights without a back bling on. She can see about 16 clearly. I'm gonna phase in uh, Scully for an example of a perfect 20 score next to her just so you can compare where you're losing some um her the tentacles and the the squids on her head are actually a little uh distracting they do create reflections for standing looking down sights with a back bling um it's pretty distracting if you look at right near the closest uh sight on her gun near like where her you want know, cheek would be per se you can see that one blue cube but then if you look on her her hair or the you know the tentacle it's got reflections in it um yeah that's super distracting it'll it it's gonna make it look like there's more objects than there actually are that's kind of weird uh her back bling blocks four entirely uh almost I want to say almost all five of the back there because you really can't see that back one. Um, yeah. Needless to say, this is pretty distracting. Um, she's like an eight and a half. Standing ADS test with no back bling. She can see about 13 clearly. Uh, all the ones above her head there. Um, I can't count any of those because you can see there's a lot of refractions uh, going on. Uh, creating multiple cubes that aren't actually there. So it's kind of distracting. Um, 
And you also see it right by her, her chin there, as you can see in the other ADS test. That 13 out of 20 standing ADS with no back bling. Just looking at the skin itself, the skin itself is pretty cool. Um, it's got a lot going on. There's a lot of movement stuff, like the tentacles in her hair go up and down when you jump, and they kind of um, leave almost like ghost trails. I don't know if that's just on my system or if that'll be on all. Um, her feet, um, you can see her feet are like webbed, webbed feet. They're not actually like human feet, which is kind of cool. Um, I know her hands, there's webs in her, between her fingers and her hands. Um, I think you can see it with the W mote. Yeah. You can see between her fingers there, it's like webbed. Kind of cool. Um, her back bling is super unique, but it's going to be super dependent on what you're going to wear it with. It's not going to be versatile at all. Um, and she's got like a slight glow to her. Like if I go to like a darker area, you'll see it really well. Like some of the pieces on her back bling and on her skin itself, they glow. Like even when you aim, you can see her hands glow. Like the blue and the pink, which is kind of cool. Um, her dress, you know, it's cutesy little dress. Moves around a little bit. Um, I like this skin. I like it, but it's a little distracting. It is a little distracting, but it does look pretty cool. Um, details are good. But yeah, when you're ADSing though, oh yeah, okay, if I turn that way, I can kind of see your face a little bit. Yeah, I like the character model. I like the character model a lot. Now, for back blings on Starfish, uh, I did find a fair amount that can work on her, but she was a little tricky to get ones that actually look good with her. Um, her skirt kind of rules out any capes. You can see with this one here, it, it interacts with a cape. It makes it look really weird. So didn't really include any capes on her for that reason. Um, but let's look through some of the ones that I, I picked that kind of looked okay on her. Like uh, Uzi. Uzi looks pretty decent. Uh, Perfect Wings. These ones look not bad. Uh, Stark Satchel looked decent. Uh, the Arc Wings looked decent. Cuddle bow looked okay. Uh, cuff case looked okay. Fallen wings and or love wings both looked okay. I like the fallen because of the purple in them. And then the love wings look decent as well. I never use this one, but glow show. <laughs> the colors kind of tie in with it, so why not? Um, still the kind of a out there back bling, but... Uh, high caliber, the silver one looks pretty decent on her. Yeah, the ice spikes white one looks pretty decent on her. We have iron cage looks not bad. Uh, ominous orb looked all right. Uh, skirmish looked decent. Six string. This is one of my more favorite ones, I would say. Uh, wolf pack, <clears throat> bird hobble, uh, down here, uh, bright bag, uh, canister carrier, uh, calavera, just because, I don't know, something about it, I liked it, I liked the feeling of it, for whatever reason. Uh, a back bling that probably nobody owns except for me and other people that do reviews. <laughs> Empress pet. Colors kind of match and tie in with it. Looks okay, but it's, uh, yeah, really overpriced back bling. Uh, Dusk wings. Dual comma. Diamond star. A hatchback. Goodie bag from season three, I believe. Uh, or four, one of the two. Uh, ignition or lane splitter. Ignition, lane splitter, both look okay. Kitar looks decent because she's got some purple on her as well. Uh, Lunar Light looked all right. Uh, Frenzy looked okay. Pool Party. 
uh, runic shield, shadow wings, steel cast, snowbrand. I said the other lot when this outfit was in the shop last, this backlink's nice, it matches on a lot. Trash lid. Uh, barrel and booty. Looks alright. I'll show you the edit style too in case you want to see that. I like the regular, this one better, but. Uh, dark bag. Mm, here. Uh, glow jet. Came with biz. Looks not bad actually, with the black as well, and the gold, and the. Blue and white, all the colors are on the skin, so it works really well. Uh, Hexed. Hex looks not bad. Came with Callisto, I believe. Pineapple Strummer looks pretty decent. I've been using this one a lot. It looks good on quite a bit of these summer skins. Ocular. Kind of troll, but... The pink and the pink. You could use it, I guess. Uh, where am I? Road Ready. Spectral Spine. Scully Satchel, either the regular version or the heart, both look good. Come on, Epic, give us a heart on the Stark Satchel, willing to buy. A uh, Shattered Wing. Tucky. Buckled. Uh, Lucky Coins. Kind of got the black and the gold in there. And Vintage. Those all look pretty decent. As for her back bling, which I did not pronounce correctly yesterday, and my girlfriend corrected me in the background. An enemy. Uh, an enemy looks good. I picked. It was really hard to match. This back bling is not versatile at all. Very dependent on the skin. Um, I'll show you some. The rocks. Purple version looked okay. Um, probably, I don't know. Maybe with the yellow. Or the green on it, I guess. Yellow, the green kind of like looks okay, or the yellow. But yeah. Uh, Tempest. Doesn't really make sense, but the purple kind of lets you use it. Uh, wild. She kind of. It looked okay. I think because the colors on the coral kind of blends into her hair a little bit, and the purple kind of ties into her shorts a little bit. You could use it. Not my favorite, but you could use it. Fish sticks, just because you have to. It's the fish food set. Probably the original. I don't know. It really doesn't match him too good, to be honest. Maybe VR, but it's part of the fish food set, so you gotta you gotta use it. Uh, Chomp Senior, just because he is a shark and it is underwater back bling. That's the only reason why. Dark Vanguard actually kind of looked okay with the colors doesn't make sense again but it just kind of goes on her uh, fallen ranger you could get away with it on i guess leviathan just because once again he's a fish doesn't really match though but you know uh aerobic assassin right gunner like i'm, I'm looking at these i don't really love a lot of these combos at all but uh, Dusk. But there's not much else you can match it with. It's really hard to match this back bling. Hey man. Uh, here. Like, I'm really re reaching for purples here. This kind of thing. Night Night. Both of the clowns it looked okay on. Um, uh, here's Peekaboo. Because of the purple, and it's like, I don't know. It kind of, like, fits. Because they got the balloons on them and stuff. I, I, I don't know, but I feel like you could use it on them. Snorkel Ops, just because, you know, she's a snorkeler. And this is like a sea, under the sea thing. Yeah, kind of. In the ocean. And Bunny Moon, it actually kind of had some color coordination in there, which didn't look too, too bad. But that's it, man. Like, I couldn't, like, a lot of the, it doesn't look good on a lot of things. It just looks so weird and out of place on a lot of skins, maybe pastel but like uh, uh pastel but i don't know man it's really really tricky back bling to match um maybe this one but yeah it's not very versatile it's it's unique but i'm i'm not really liking the back bling that much
So Starfish, design and details. She's good. I like the design. The details are great. It's a very original looking skin. The skin itself for matching back blings. I mean, I managed to find about 50 back blings that you could use on her that looked okay. So I think that's fairly versatile. It's mainly because it's got a lot of colors on it and we have a lot of like pinks and purples in Fortnite. So it was somewhat versatile. I kind of want to give it a half there. It did not have good ADS scores in the skin because of the head and all of the distractions going on. It, it had like the translucent, you know, uh, tentacles and the squid things on top of her head that created like illusions of the extra cubes that weren't actually there. So a little odd there. Not getting ADS score point. Back bling design is really cool. It's a very different looking, whoops, very different looking back bling. It is very original, but the back bling was not versatile and it did not have good ADS scores either. Cost to rarity, I would say it's fair. This is uh, definitely fair for a rare skin. It's got a lot going on. It's very unique. It's very cool. Um, good purchase. Hmm. I'm going to give it... Oh. Okay, I'm going to give it half a point on versatility for the skin versatility and half a point on the good purchase so i'm gonna give this skin a six out of ten um yeah six out of ten kind of hurts me a little bit because i really do like this skin but the ads was pretty bad on it pretty distracting the back bling was neat but not very functional to use on a lot of skins like really it only really makes sense on her couple other skins maybe but it was super hard to match the back bling with other things and Putting things on her was tricky as well. Um, but yeah, she is a cool skin. But she's only going to get a 6 out of 10. As for the conch cleaver, uh, this pickaxe, its design is pretty cool. I do like the design. It is very original. Um, it does have some little details on it, like the water bubbles coming off of it. When you swing it, there's like a water streak and more water bubbles. Um, so it's pretty cool that way. Uh, I kind of wish it had more though, because it is an epic. So the swing sound, it, I don't think this is very versatile. It's a very like pickaxe that depends on a certain theme, so I don't think it's going to be extremely versatile to look good. Um, and the colors, again, are going to depend on the skin a lot. Uh, I do like the swing sound. Swing sounds good. Impact sounds weak. Um, equip sound was a cool. It sounds similar to the swing sound. Like water swishing. Gameplay looked great. Um, I don't think the cost of rarity is fair. Because I feel like it's a little overpriced. So... I think this is going to get the same as the skin. I'm going to give it half a point on details and effects because it does have some details and effects that look cool. I wish it had more because it is classified as an epic. And I'm half I'm on the <clears throat> I'm on the middle point about recommending to buy it if you like it or not. Like I'd give it a 0.5 on a good purchase and a 0.5 on details and effects. So it's half good purchase, half got good details, a little overpriced. If it was cheaper, if it was a rare 100%, it would get a details and effects point and a good buy and a cost rarity. Um, if this was rare, I would probably bump it up to an 8 out of 10. But because they classified it as an epic, and I feel like this is lacking, I'm only going to give it a 6 out of 10. So, Conch Cleaver, you get a 6 out of 10. The Man o' War Glider. This thing is something else. It's very cool. It's very unique. It's got really cool design. Like I said, it's unique. It's got, as it is right here, it does have cool details and effects to it. Um, all the tentacles, the glowy tentacles, the water bubbles coming off of it. When you're in the air gliding, there's like a water aura that comes around you as you're gliding. 
Um, it's very faint, but you can see it. Cool details and effects. I don't think it's very versatile. Um, the deploy sound is pretty cool. I do like the deploy sound. Gliding sound, it was okay. Gliding effects, again, were okay. It's a little much. There is game, there is vision loss for sure. I think the cost rarity is fine. Um, I don't know. I like this glider, but I'm not in love with it, so I'm not gonna recommend it. Um, like what you see here in this preview, not much changes when you're gliding around. It's just you're going through the air like this. I find there wasn't a lot else that was going on with it, so. I'm going to give it a half a point on gliding effects um, and leave everything else the same. I think this, this gets a 5.5 out of 10. Um, maybe 6 out of 10, but probably I'll just leave it 5.5. It's a really cool glider, but it's super, um, you know, very depends on what you're going to use, if it's going to look good or not. And it does have a lot of vision loss, and it is very distracting. Um, but it's unique. If you like collecting stuff, you like different stuff, this is totally unique, totally different. Um, so it's up to you if you want to buy it. Um, I don't think I'll be using this that much, though, personally. So that's it, guys. Overall, on the set, everything gets roughly about a 6 out of 10 for me on average. It's a cool set, but it's very, you know, specific to your taste. If you like it, by all means, get it. Just keep in mind the glider and the skin have a lot of distracting things going on with them and the pickaxe i think is overpriced i wish it was a little cheaper um it is cool though it is a really cool really nice looking pickaxe so i like it i like that i own it because i'm a collector but i just wish it was a better price that is all the glider is super cool but i do not think i'll be using it very much at all um it's just very distracting. Very, very distracting. Well, that's it, guys. This video, like I said, is super late. I have been super busy this weekend. It was a long weekend in Canada. It's, it's also my birthday week, so I have a lot going on. Um, so, yeah, here's the video. If you want my opinion, if you want a second opinion, if you're still humming and hawing over the, the item, uh, these items, because I know they're in, a, in the store till tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have some new stuff this week. I'll get videos out in better time for those things because i'm going to be around most of the time now for the rest of the week but anyhow thank you for stopping in and checking the video out even though this is over a day late i appreciate you guys i hope you're taking care of yourself and i hope everybody in the states that's watches has a great independence day it's in a couple days um i'm sure we're gonna see those stars and stripes outfits come in the shop soon so uh, if you're waiting for those, they haven't been out for a year. So keep your eyes peeled for those because they'll be here, I'm sure. Anyhow, that's it for me for tonight. Take care of yourself and have a good holiday if you're celebrating Independence Day, my friends. Peace out.